Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to the first video of 2022 up here in the woods. I've been up here all morning just doing some wood processing, um, just sawing some hazel and I'm going to split it all this afternoon and get it stacked. And what I wanted to do in this video was um, cook up some fish cakes on the little Trangier unit that I've got behind. I've got the Trangier 25 with me. And uh, I got this recipe from Ray Mayer's cookbook actually. He calls them uh, canoe camping fish cakes. So the, the, the ingredients is pretty basic. I've just got a, a tin of salmon here and I've got a packet of instant mash. This is um, the Idaho and stuff, butter and herb flavored. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the, the ingredients. I am gonna use an egg with it actually. Uh, in the cookbook it doesn't include an egg but I think it'll it'll bind the fish cakes a bit better. I could be wrong though we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I've got some flour just to coat the fish cakes in. I've got some ground nut oil to fry them in and I've just got a bit of seasoning. So it's a fairly simple recipe and I'm always trying to think about stuff that you can that you can use in the warmer weather you know where you can't really have fresh meat because it'll spoil pretty quickly. So being able to knock up decent recipes with kind of, uh, you know, tinned, tinned fish and instant potatoes is a, is a winner in theory. So we'll see how we get on. What I'm going to do now though is just boil up some water and sort the mash out. So I'm using one of these, uh, these go system gas cartridges. I picked a couple of them up at Go Outdoors. Uh, about six or seven weeks ago now and they claim that they work down to about minus 20 which I think might be a little bit optimistic but it's hovering around one or two degrees at the moment in the woods so we'll see how we'll get on. I also upgraded the Trangier gas burner. I've done a video a few weeks ago looking at these Trangier units and loads of people were saying oh just spend the money and get the, the Trangier gas burner and I'm really glad I did. It is, you know, I think I paid £40 for it whereas the Go System one is, is around 18 or 19 but this thing is much better. You can really control the, the burn a lot, a lot easier than you can on the Go Systems burner. Water's boiling away, so we'll just start off with that much. Gonna need a touch more, I think. Just don't want to get the mash too hydrated. This is, is about right. Bearing in mind that I'm going to add an egg as well, which will add some moisture. But that seems to be a pretty decent consistency. Halfway between concrete and custard, that should do. Just let that cool down for a while, I think. So I'm just going to wait 10 minutes for these potatoes to cool down. They're a pretty effective hand warmer though. It's really cold up here in the woods today. I don't think it's got much above freezing all day. But uh, they seem to be a little dry. So hopefully the egg will add a little bit more moisture and just help, help the fish cakes bind together. A bird of prayer. It's been a really nice morning in the woods. Uh, it's obviously a clear sky last night so everything was covered in frost when I came in and the sun coming through the trees was really picturesque. I like it when it's like this. 
lifts the spirit, you know, when the sun's out. Especially in the, the middle of January. It's a really kind of depressing time of year. Dark mornings, it's usually cloudy and grey. You're skint because you've blown all your cash over Christmas. Just going to get the salmon in there now. Just get a bit of seasoning in here. A bit of uh, black pepper. Touch of salt. I've just got the little JSI spice rocket here. Really useful little bit of kit. I've got some mixed herbs. They can go in there. I might even stick a little bit of smoked paprika in there as well. There we go, that'll do. Now I'll just give that a good mix up, crack the egg into it, and then we'll get cooking, I think. So I've cracked the egg in here, and I'm just making sure it's all mixed together. You definitely need a, a sturdy fork to do this with. But it's all looking good. I think one tip is just to slightly underhydrate the potatoes, because obviously you've got some moisture in there, in the salmon. And then if you put an egg in as well, you can slowly kind of mix it together and get the right consistency. And if you do need to add a, a little bit more water, you can easily just add cold water. So what I've done there guys is just kind of divide the mixture up there in there. That's probably too much flour, but never mind. I've just divided the mixture up there in the pan so I can get to them easy enough. This is going to be the messy bit. Just get them in there. Pack them down a bit. That's looking good. Four fish cakes, they'll fit into the, the Trangier 25. So we'll just get the oil heated up now. I'm just using some ground nut oil here. Plenty of that in there. So that oil looks about hot enough now. I just hope I've got enough gas actually to, to cook these. Seem to be running low. Well folks, I think we're done here. They've been on for about 15 minutes. Just have to keep giving them a, a bit of a shake every now and again. Because the pan does get a bit of a hot spot in the middle. So I've just periodically turned them around. Just to stop them getting burnt in one area. But I think we're done, so I'm going to turn the gas off and get served up. Squeeze a bit of lemon over them there. So they were pretty easy to make actually. They weren't too messy. Obviously if you need some water just to wash your hands it'll make life easier. But uh, let's give them the taste test. bit hot mind oh, they're fantastic I mean there's quite a lot here for one person four of these fish cakes at easy serve two
so that's May done for the day guys you can see the sun just about to set behind the shed there and, and also see the moon up there looks almost full as well which makes me want uh, to get out of the woods even more before the dark comes in so uh so yeah i'm gonna get going so as ever thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it i'll catch up with you again on the next one